Hey guys, it's Monday, and today we're gonna review Ah, Dr. Fruit. Dr. Fruit. Dr. Fruit. Dr. Fruit. Yeah, that's right. This whole week, I'm gonna review my top five DCUC characters that I bought. That I bought this year. So I know these characters are older than this year. But these are the ones I bought this year. And these are my top five. So Monday I'll have a review. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Each day I'll have a review. So here we go. Let's talk about Dr. Fruit. Dr. Fruit. So this is the more modern take of Dr. Fruit. I really, really like this guy. I mean, I think... When I bought him, I had a choice of getting the classic, like the superpower version, which I really like, or the um, more modern take of Dr. Freud, Dr. Freud. But I decided to get this one because he was a tad cheaper for me. And um, hopefully one day I can get the other one. But this one really serves its purpose, and I like it. Um, if I'm not too sure his modern take on in the comic books before the new 52. Um, I think he was Hawkman's son, Hector Hall. But he was much older. I don't know if he was from a different time or what he was. But I know the Kent Nelson version. I like him a little bit better. You know, the, the original JSA Dr. Fate. And um, I kind of like that one. But I just pretend this one's Kent. Hi, Kent. How's it going? So... Here we go. Dr. Freud comes with this nice onk thing, like it's coming out of his fingers. It's really cool how the Mattel attached that right there. That's really neat. I like that a lot. And uh, his head turns really good. Get some great poses out of his head. I mean, there's so much personality to this guy. And, you know, it's just really cool. He, Unlike his um, superpower version... He has this extra weird up there underwear part that goes up to his abs. Has the nice gold boots. And um, unfortunately, you know, he has a gold helmet unlike the um, other version, which is all yellow like his gloves. But if they painted his gloves gold too, that would have been cool. Kind of weird they left that and his cape, his really nice cape, a um, kind of yellow. So I'm not too sure what they were thinking, or I don't know. I think it would look better all gold, but he's pretty cool. And uh, I really, this is the, one of my favorite DC figures. He is number five on the list, and Mattel obviously did a well, a good job. Mattel rating from me to them, like they care. But anyway. So, you know, standard DC, you see articulation, um, nice hands, hand swivel, um, up and down, right here, his head turns to 360, but I don't want to do that because I don't want to kill him, but great range, great range of, of his head, that turns, you got an A up crunch, he's no loose, no loose uh, limbs on this guy, so yeah, this version or the other version would be great. I wish they had a um, half-helmeted Dr. Fate, like the DC Direct version does. That would have been cool. I used to have that figure. We don't have it no more, and um, or anymore. So I'm, that's something I would like to get probably next year again, the DC Direct version, and maybe make a custom um, DC UC with the half-helmeted, because I always like that too. Uh, that's, I'm, and in the cartoon, in Young Justice, Zantana, her dad becomes Dr. Fate, so that's a little bit different take. Because um, Kent Nelson is too old to be Dr. Fate. So they had some kind of weird deal. I, I don't remember the whole story now, but Zantana's dad had to become Dr. Fate. So that's pretty cool. And I think he has a, more of a costume like this. I could be wrong, but... So yeah, get this guy. He's a little bit pricey. The um, current eBay prices for that he's going for right now, loose or or in, in box still, he's going for a good from a high thirty dollars 
up to a hundred dollars. That is crazy. I didn't know he was that um, rare. That's eBay prices, so maybe you can go to Amazon, maybe or some other place, and find him for cheaper. So, oh, man, I'm glad I bought him. I think I got him like for thirty. So, that's I got lucky. So yeah, that is today is Monday. That is my he is number five on my top five favorites. And we're going from one through five, one being the best, obviously. So stay tuned for tomorrow for our number four, 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 four. Thanks, guys. Bye. Don't prefer.